Guys, I'm out for a few holes here at People's Golf Club and today I'm going to do a little video, I'm going to stop somewhere and do a video on D-plane directional plane in the golf swing Tricky sub subject, ugh, can't even say it Tricky subject I'll try and make it as simple as possible using a few props just to try and clear it up and make make D-plane a little bit more understandable for you guys, for everyone and also so people can understand as to why driver slices more than their irons hit their irons straight They'll lose the driver out to the left or the right and hopefully D-plane or this video will give you a bit of understanding as to why that is Right we're on guys, we're talking about D-plane today and before we start I'd like to just clearly say there's no such thing as side spin so directional plane affects the side spin or what people think is side spin but it doesn't affect side spin at all because there's no such thing as side spin this here, when it says chrome soft on that ball, right along the middle there, is the axis of the ball. And when we hit a golf shot, the ball spins around that axis, perfectly straight. Ball gets lift, backspin, that's what creates lift, and ball goes straight. If we hit a, something that happens between club face and path, club head path, the relationship, which tilts the axis, it'll spin round the axis again, it's exactly the same but because the axis is tilted, that's where your curvature comes from so it's not side spin, it's curvature, it's axis tilt Mark Crossfield, if you watch Mark Crossfield stuff on YouTube he does a great thing about axis tilt, he's talking about D-plane as well and he like, describes it like an airplane so if the airplane wants to, this is the axis of the golf ball my arms, my wingspan if the airplane wants to turn to the right, they bank to the right so now the ball's covering round this axis and it's going to spin off to the right Hit and draw hook, let's go to the left, check out his stuff. Right, let's go. So, this is my golf ball. I'm going to come a little bit closer. Waddle in there. This is my golf ball. This here is my axis, and the ball spins around that axis. Okay? Now, my club head direction, D plane, is directional plane. Okay, so let's imagine this down the bottom here where it says club head direction is the direction my club is travelling in and we're going to assume for this it's going straight towards the camera straight towards the camera Okay. up above I have my club face aim if I can hold this somehow club face aim there we go. Is that all in there? Move a little bit further away. This is a little bit more awkward than I had planned. Okay, so we've got club head direction going straight towards camera and club face aim straight towards camera so the axis, so both going towards camera in the same direction so the axis of the golf ball is not tilted. Okay, now let's assume for this video that my direction of club head continues going towards camera but my face is open or out to the right of that so you can see now that my face and path this is path, this is face, top one's path bottom one's face, going towards camera are no longer in line so the axis of the golf ball is tilted so therefore as I'm hitting towards camera it will go to my right, your left okay, it's coming towards you Okay, if it tilts the other way, if my face is pointing to the left axis is going to tilt, I'm going to hit draw or hook Okay, slice Hook, hitting towards camera remember okay now I get asked a lot of questions or people come to me saying I can't hit my driver I slice my driver a lot but my short irons and my mid irons they're alright now the reason for that is let's imagine the length of this rope is loft okay so the longer they make this piece of rope the more loft it's on the golf club okay so let's just take this so I've added more loft there okay so now we're path still towards target direction still towards target the face aim points to the right and you can see how that's tilted the golf ball okay actually hold on I'm just going to pop a little cane in here okay so that's in play so I'm using this orange orange cane right in front of my face and we are path or direction is going straight towards camera and face aim straight towards camera Okay, so tilt axis is not tilted. Now, if my club face was to be open to this yellow cane using a left, a little lofted club, there we go. So this is like a a wedge, or a lot of loft. Sorry, you can see how much the axis is tilted, going this direction. 
Yeah? So my club face is the distance between orange cane and yellow cane to the right of the path of a direction and the axis is tilted that much. Now if I take loft off this club, because the length of this rope is loft, if I take the loft off and go right down here, so this is now driver, okay, so again, direction going towards camera, towards camera, and let's move the face as far right as we did with the wedge, and you can see how much more the axis is tilted. So the axis is tilted a lot more when there's less loft on the club. So that is why you slice driver, you may be at the same path, same amount of deviation between face and path, but we've got less loft, which tilts the axis even more, so therefore the ball goes further right or further left, in this instance it'll go further right as I'm hitting towards camera. Let's add modes of loads of loft back on, so I'll come down, 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 there we go, now we've got lob wedge, and you can see the axis of the ball is not tilted near as much. Here we go. That, ladies and gents, is my interpretation of D-plane. So that should be quite simple. So we need to get D-plane, or we need to get the club direction and the face aim on top of each other to stop the axis of the ball from tilting. Out here, out here, out here, not good. So I hope that gives you a better understanding as to why you slice your driver, yet your irons seem to go straight. Guys, up on the right-hand side, your left-hand side, little bubble's about to appear. If you click that, you can subscribe to my channel for free. Please leave comments below, thumbs up this video, and as I say, subscribe.